Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey. So I just actually touched up my hair color. I did film it, but you know what I'm saying? We'll see how it turns out. And if you all see it, great. But if not, things didn't go as planned. All of that to say that it is time for a wash day. But before we get into today's wash day, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So like I said, I just finished touching up the color of my hair. I only rinsed my hair with cold water. I didn't follow up with any type of cleanser or conditioner or anything like that because content. And I'm going to start with this section. I'm just going to resaturate it because it's been in my towel for a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with a co-wash. This is typically what I do when I color my hair because of course I don't want to go right in with the shampoo after just depositing color. So I'm going to go in today with this As I Am Coconut Co-wash, which I have talked about 50, 11 times on my channel. I do have a more in-depth video where I used this previously. And of course, I'll leave that link in the cards. But this is the consistency. It's kind of loose, but also not loose enough to where it'll get slip, but also really, really creamy to where it's going to add some moisture and just joy to my hair and scalp. So I'm just going to go in with a bit and apply this throughout the section. And because I saturated my hair with water, I'm going to get, you know, somewhat of a decent lather, which is just a requirement I have from co-washes. And I have been using this very same jar of As I Am Coconut Co-Wash for a very, very long time. It's probably one of the first co-washes I ever purchased. And as far as I'm concerned, it just kind of set the benchmark for co-washes. I feel like, especially as somebody that's been natural for a very long time, I've seen people using rinse out conditioners as co-washes. And that just kind of created a stigma in my mind because, you know, back in the day, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. We saw the Good Judy's using Hello Hydration and Tresemme Naturals to co-wash their hair, not realizing that it's literally just a rinse out conditioner. There were no cleansing ingredients. And of course, these OG influencers were just sharing what they thought was best based on their experience, as well as what they just thought was best for them and their hair back in the day, just like influencers do today. So I have the co-wash applied throughout the section and I wanna make sure I get my scalp nice and clean because it's been a couple of weeks. I have not not washed my hair at all. So like I said, I like my co-wash to have a bit of lather to them. So that is why I'm really going in with some water just to encourage a better lather, especially with these creamy co-washes. You see, they kind of coat your hair like conditioner, which is great, but I also want it to feel clean. And in order for it to feel clean to me in my mind, I need a little bit of a lather and adding water definitely helps that. And as you can see, we are definitely getting some lather. So I am all done applying the cold wash over all four sections. I'm going to go rinse with lukewarm water and then we'll come back and deep condition. Okay, so I'm all done with the cold wash. This is how my hair is looking after rinsing the cold wash. It's probably been about 20 minutes, so my hair is damp, which is how I prefer to deep condition. Okay, so I got my first section ready and to deep condition today, I'm gonna to go in with something that I just know is going to give me the moisturization that I need and deserve. So I'm going to use this main choice peach black tea and vitamin fusion anti-shedding and intense volume therapy mask, which like at this point, the name of this is obnoxious. I'm going to go in with this <laughs> to deep condition. This is the consistency, super creamy and somewhat thick. And I'm going to start by applying that to the ends and then working it up to the roots. My roots are very dry and disrespectful. Um, so I am going to be going ham. But if you need to apply water or you trying to ration your conditioner, do what works best for you. But as for me, I am getting ready to slather this all up and through. Right, I'm actually surprised that this time I'm actually getting a little bit more slip from this than I expected 
because this this deep conditioner is pretty thick and the first couple of times i tried this i didn't really get slip but maybe it was just thicker because it was cooler outside the last time i used it and of course temperatures have started to warm up so maybe that's why i'm having less difficult of a time getting this distributed through my hair oh but it's still <laughs> she's still thick as hell though don't don't get it twisted. Definitely getting a lot better slip from this deep conditioner this time. So maybe my theory on the warm weather is, is what's giving. You all know that I typically don't require slip for my deep conditioner, but it is nice to have. And this is already a top performer for me, but the fact that it's giving me slip now as well is okay my hair is feeling like it's really drinking this up because it does really need to be moisturized it's been it's been a couple of weeks but this is giving what it was supposed to have gave and y'all already know to make sure that the deep conditioner is also on your edges because what are we without our edges exactly okay so i am all done applying the deep conditioner to all four sections so now i'm just going to cover my hair with this plastic cap i want to make sure i'm making the most of this deep conditioning session so i am going to use heat then i'm going to rinse with lukewarm water come back and wrap up today's wash day i'm all done rinsing my hair and i left it soaking wet didn't put it in a t-shirt towel so that way you could see <laughs> why this is a staple like look at how juicy and shiny like <laughs> let me put my hair back up and wrap up this video <laughs> okay so of course as i mentioned i started off today with touching up my color and you may or may not get a video on that depending on how the footage came out but regardless once i color my hair i don't go right in with shampoo i tend to go in with a co-wash and to co-wash my hair after coloring today i went in with this as i am coconut co-wash which is a staple and a gem for a reason this just hits all of my co-wash requirements it's affordable it's accessible it has great slip it gives me moisture and when i have adequate water in my hair it gives me a lather check 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 also because this is a big ass jar this is the 16 fluid ounce version it lasts me for an eternity i've had this for years and i still have at least another use left i just love it and i'll continue to repurchase and on color day after rinsing out my co-wash i love to follow that up with a great moisturizing deep conditioner and today i chose this main choice peach black tea and vitamin fusion mask honey i'm not saying all of this every time i use this deep conditioner it's amazing it's bomb and i feel like because it's warmed up here where i live i got great slip from it which just has not been my experience and although i didn't get slip from it previously it still became a staple because of how moisturizing and softening it is to my hair i will continue to say every time i pull this out that i i played myself okay i did not want to use this just because of how it was marketed i underestimated this and i just didn't think that this was going to work for people with hair like mine but this swiftly became a staple the first time i used it also really enjoy the smell of this this as far as i'm concerned is definitely top two and an eight number two this this is just that girl and again 10 out of 10 will highly recommend so that about wraps up today's post color wash day routine i know a lot of my viewers may not color their hair but drop down in the comments and let me know if these two products are staples for you and especially if you do color your natural hair let me know what your routine is for aftercare now on your way to watching another video of mine please make sure that you like share and subscribe thank you so 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 much for watching please please be safe and i'll catch you in the next one